Hi and welcome to another episode of Hair Effect FC here on Vanilla FM. We're going to start the season 2036-2037. Uh, in fact, we've already started, obviously, as you can see from the homepage. But first, let's go through what's happened in terms of the um, international competitions that we were part of, as mentioned in the previous episode, and then I'll take you through the new squad. And then we're going to play the first match against um, a European team for the Champions League. So, let's first of all look at the schedule. And there we go, we have um, a bunch of friendlies that I did abroad. And then we went to play Defensa y Justicia. Uh, I think they are a, yeah, the Argentinian team. They must have been the South American champions. And we played the um, yeah, European and South American club challenge. So we won that, it's got that one extra trophy for that. Then we won on penalties, the Community Shield against Man United. And then on extra time, we scored one goal uh, against Real Madrid for the Super Cup, which was amazing. I didn't think we'd get this one. Um, in the league, we have uh, drawn one against uh, Nottingham Forest, who currently lay at the bottom of the league, pretty much. And uh, we lost against Man United. And then... We had uh, three wins so far, so we won against Wolves, who are 13th at the moment. Also win against Aston Villa, who are 5th. We are currently 4th. Southampton, 18th as well. We also play the first uh, leg, sorry, the first match for us for the Cabra Cup against Barrow, 4-2. Actually not brilliant, because Barrow should have been an easier win than that, but anyway. Yeah, so we're gonna play a club from Serbia. I don't know. I don't know anything about them, by the way. Um, so if there are if there are any Serbians out there, um, then feel free to let me know if this is a good team or not. Well, they are in the Champions League league phase, so they can't be that bad. Uh, I've just never heard of them. And if you look at the players, um, can we look at this? Some of them seem to be okay in terms of. Um, da -da. Journal play, no, attributes. Now let's look at attacking attributes, I think. Yeah, they're, they're not too bad. They're nowhere compared to us. This guy seems to be okay. Probably one of our best players. But, um,. Yeah, so we're going to play against them. Let me show you the squad first. Let's, um... Oh. Sorry, I pressed the wrong key there. Uh, let's, um... Uh, go through the squad. So if I put this in this way... So we still have Diego Zupel. Actually, uh, PSG has been trying to poach him. Uh, but not successfully at the moment. Zupel, we uh, sent on loan... Neil Nolan, and he might end up being quite a profitable loan. So we got him initially for seven and a half million. If you look at the loan contract, there's an optional fee of 31 million at the end of the loan. So he could be, end up being quite profitable. We are getting um, half of these, about half of his. Um, contract paid and then on top of that loads more so basically his wages are being covered every month plus we're getting a bunch more anyway so that's good and to replace him we got uh, another goalkeeper called Owen Goodman so you're gonna sit in the back uh, as a backup to Diego Zupol he's actually pretty good himself so he's a trusted backup player playing for Crystal Palace in real life and then in the game he went alone to Belgium and Scotland Saudi and so on and we got him for free that's pretty good on the right side we still have Anthony who joined us a few seasons ago um, actually he's only he joined us permanently this season but we've had we've had him in, in and around the squad for a few seasons and we went back to retrieve this guy on loan again He's quite a difficult guy to get, by the way. But um, Man United decided to loan him to us 
for a season, which is good. Well, I think there is an option to buy him at the end. Let's look at the contract details. Yeah, there's an option to buy him for 49 million. Whether or not that'll happen, I don't know. But um, I, I think there's better options out there like for next year, so maybe not. In defense, uh, we only have one new player. So we still have on the wing side, we've got Emerson Pereira still. Who we got last year. We still have Zelinov, uh, sorry, Velinov, who's been with us for ages. And he's doing really well. Uh, in the no-nonsense position, we have Harada, who's been with us for ages as well. And Ningi, also with us for a long time. Uh, so that defense, they're all very cohesive. We still have um, Zubilaga as well, who's been with us for a while. And then our only new player in the central defending position is Ilya. Ukrainian player who was at Bournemouth before. Uh, he's now with us on a permanent deal. Defensive midfield, we have one new player. We still have Jean Gomes from last year. He's with us still, but we went and got this Loney as a backup, Gareth Jones from uh, Bristol City, but Liverpool beforehand, Nugent. Uh, midfield, we have again one new player. We sold Marcel Caput, the Ukrainian player. Sorry, not Ukrainian, um, Polish, I think he was. Marcel Caput, we sold him. Uh, on, well, actually, did we sell him? I think we got him out on loan. We still have uh, Sunset from Bilbao, but let me just check. Oh, yeah, he went to Beziktas. We sold him. Okay. Uh, he was worried about not getting his. Um, visa but he did get it but at which point you'd already kicked up a fuss about being sold so i sold him anyway um so yeah sold him and we got for his replacement luigi de martino italian player 24 years old pretty good player from Udines inter milan before on the right side still the same through alejandro lorenzo is on that side and then uh, ba, 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 we have Ben Hames as well, who's been with us for quite a long time. Left side, two brand new players. This is probably the best one we've got this season. Kenny Lawless. Uh, he's our, is he our new captain? He's our new vice captain. He got from Leicester and he's got, he's only 19, so he's going to improve loads. So he's probably our best purchase for this year. And then we got Julio Aguilar, who was, who was with us last year on a permanent deal as well, for quite cheaply from Benfica. So he's probably going to be sold next year and get a better player if for his place. But for now, there he is. And then we've got one new striker, our main striker, who's currently resting, is Valentin Torres. He came to replace everyone, pretty much. We didn't actually need to get him because we still had... Uh, Mar uh, Marcos, but he was getting on a bit, so I loaned him out for a pretty good loan deal. Let's just let's take a look at the loan, loan deal. Got a 26 future fee as well, so that could be okay. And we sold Yaman, who we got quite cheaply. He was a very good striker, missing out on um, goal score of the season last year for only a goal, but. Uh, I decided to cash in on him and get Torres because Torres is loads better. And uh, and we also promoted to the. This is our first new gen that got promoted from our youth academy to the main squad. Uh, Gordon Joseph. He's not the ready deal yet. He's still got a while to go, especially in his mental ability. But I thought we'll get him in. Uh, it makes us comply with the European rules um and also he'll develop better in the senior squad so we got him in we're going to play him for this match as well because we t re uh, resting Torres a little bit and um let's see how he goes um yeah still got a good dynamic so this will just get better uh had several players unhappy really no just this guy he's okay Got our staff all up and running, and 
As far as club info facilities, we are now building the Hereford Stadium. Who's that's going to be finished? Uh, about two years, yeah, two years time, two seasons time. So I don't know if we'll get to see it or not before we start playing the new game. Can't wait for FM 2025. Looks like it's going to be a simpler game. They cut down a lot of the features. And um, so it's going to be a simple game to play in theory, at least for the first or, or second edition of the game. I'm kind of puzzled about the the match play, the match engine. Um, from what I've so, so, so the screenshots that they've shared on their website, it doesn't really look that impressive. You know the um, day to day sort of UI type thing. Obviously, they haven't shared the match engine at all, and that's um, that's really what I'm looking for. Obviously, the women's football will be interesting. I'm going to play the women's football for the beta, um, and then I might continue it in a separate channel, uh, which I've already prepared, and um, and then I'll obviously go back to Hereford. So I'll have two concurrent. Um, saves ongoing, but in separate YouTube channels. We got our first attack here, and it's our first goal. Champions League goal, Lorenzo. Very good, very good indeed. We, I think we are playing in Serbia. This is not our stadium. Also, I love how the game changes the UI slightly for these big European competitions. Obviously, as long as they have the license. They tried to mimic a little bit. It was the same thing for the um, Super Cup. It was a shame I didn't play that one on on on, on video actually, because that was the UI was pretty cool. Yeah, so the new beta, I think the beta will probably be out in November. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping to get some leave as well, so I can spend some time at home, getting everything recorded and ready, getting into the game. Um, and, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to do as many videos as I can in that beta period. Oh, here we go, a young... Young talent, Joseph. Oh, oh well, still has to tune his feet, I guess. And of course, I cannot forget, well actually let's do that now, our sponsored Nugen, let's do that now. So, Robip. Robip Zugaj. Still at PSG, mm, he's doing pretty well I think. Six goals, one assist, yeah he's doing pretty pretty well. Um, who knows, maybe one day we'll have him back. At our club, we do need um, a better midfield. There are a few positions that I need to look at. For example, left side of the fence, that left channel, he's looking at when there is the the money. And the thing is, I need players to be interested. At the moment, we have the best players interested in us, I guess. So, I need to grow as a club to get better players interested. So that left side of the fence is one of the areas I need to improve. We've got 
Prother, which is not bad. Did I mention him? I'm not sure if I did, actually. Yeah, so Matthew Anderson, we still have as a left side, but we have a new player who's actually our captain. Um, Zach Kruther. Let's see if I can show him, because I forgot about that, I think. Um, yeah, left side we have Zach Kruther, who's our new captain. And we got him from Leicester. And we still have for that position Matthew Anderson as a backup. Um, yeah, so I think I forgot about that. The other positions that we need still to look at, let's let's think. Um, defensive midfield, we have some pretty poor players at the moment. Jean Gomez is not too bad. Gareth Jones, obviously, is pretty poor. I mean, he's um, came as a backup, really, but he's pretty poor. But they yeah, are sort of the best we can get at the moment. Uh, both wings and an attack. So the, the 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 spearhead three at the front. We're still not there yet with that. But the rest of the squad, I think we're pretty pretty good. Okay, let's do some subs. I haven't done any subs yet, so let's get John Gums out. Gareth Jones. Kruther out for Anderson. Then let's get Ilya in. And Aguilar. One more. Who's tired? This guy started. Zelinov. Ve Velinov. I always say Zelinov because he's got a Z in his name. Velinov. Mm, here goes Joseph again. Come on, 18-year-old. Do your thing. Oh, you got a penalty. Well done, mate. I think he's going to take that one. I think he's the designated taker for this match. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, here he goes. It could be his first ever goal for a European Champions League. Nice, well done. Okay, two nil from the Hereford Youth Academy to the Champions League penalty spot. What a story. What a goal. What a weird goal that was. That, that is probably a goal, actually. I don't think he was offside. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool goal. Lots of battering up and down. to go one minute to go and that's it so first win for the European Champions League and two players getting on the score sheet which is pretty good including our youth player very very nice indeed okay I'm gonna carry on and uh, oh that is a nice nice little bonus 2.4 million for a win we're gonna get rich. Okay, so I'll catch up with you again around January or February. And in the meantime, make sure you check out the Patreon. You can sponsor a new gen, and I will read out how your new gen is doing um, every episode. 
Or if I somehow forget to do that, I'll always post a, um, uh, an update on Patreon. Anyway, so thanks so much for watching to the end and supporting the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.